Hey guys, Shrapnel here. Long time no see, you right? So, doing a quick uh, update after God knows how long. I'm gonna do my EDC. It's changed a little bit since last time. It's mostly expanded, not so much as that. there have been any replacements as far as I remember. I haven't actually bothered to go back and check and see what I put, but let's get started, shall we? So, Get the boring stuff out of the way. Keys. Got the uh, Leatherman carabiner that you got with the uh, sidekick, was it? Yeah. It's just car keys, toolbox keys, stuff like that. And yeah. So, keys. Next, notepad. Gift for my sister. I just have a uh, menu for a um, my local general store. I eat there every once in a while. Good to have the menu so that way I can order ahead and just swing by and pick it up. Got some pens, just some cheapies. I need them for work. And chapstick. I like the uh, O'Keefe's lip repair. I don't know if this is going to come in backwards because I'm filming on my phone because my laptop camera bit the dust. Really annoying. Let's see what's next. Two lighters, a mini bic and a full size. I'm just waiting for the full size to run out of fuel and then it's to the mini bic. But this is so low, so I carry an extra one just in case. Plug in my laptop real quick, even though it's I'm not using it, it's dying. I try to carry at least two dollars and quarters. Right now I have dollar fifty, but I use these for vending machines and when I go grocery shopping, we shop at Aldi's and you need a quarter to access the carts. I have a uh, empty tin. I am a smoker and I care and I roll my own, so. They go in this. Don't judge me. It's just what I, how I what I do. But yeah, I carry them in the tin so they're protected a little bit better. And it's a portable ashtray. And last of the boring things is the wallet. This is a slim front pocket wallet that I carry in my back right. I got it at Cabela's. It's got a uh, 3030 Winchester embedded in the back it's uh, genuine leather I love this I've carried it for going on three years now and it's well worn I do uh, put some I do treat it every two months I just have some cash ID debit card credit card and a uh, gift card to Harbor Freight from a uh, recall that I had to deal with it's got like five dollars on it. I'm just gonna buy some more gloves with it. And then moving on to tools. We'll start with this. It is my Victorinox Midmite Manager. The uh, flashlight side fell off and I don't know where it is. I think I lost it in the woods when I carried this on my keys. I carry it for the scissors. I can trim my nails with it. It also has that really small Phillips driver, which I like. I've used it for taxes batteries and stuff like that. And then, yeah, that's what I carry that for. And it's a handy little pen, but I think I need to replace the uh, cartridge. But I'm probably just going to buy another one. Thing's broken. So, going from there, flashlight, Olight S2 baton. I don't have the S2R, it's just the regular. The reason why I like this light is it's got every function I would need. Magnetic tail cap, which is really nice, so I can work in cars and whatnot. And um, it can be a headlamp. Speaking of that, actually, let me backtrack real quick. This is my hat that I wear pretty much all the time. It is a uh, notch hat. I don't know the exact model name, but it has the Velcro patch on the front. It's just uh, Bible verse Joshua 1 9. You can look it up if you wish. If not, oh well. I like this hat, it fits comfortable. The, the brim is like really it's a very sturdy material i'm not sure what it's made out of but yeah 
watch is just a cheapy Casio I got at Walmart. I really like it actually. It's comfortable, but most of all, it gives me exact the exact information I need and nothing more. It gives me the day and the full date. Like it is 2-16-2019 and obviously the time. But I like it because it's small. I wish it was a little slimmer, but beggars can't be choosers. So back to the cool stuff. Pocket knife. Benchmade 940 Osborne. This is the original. And sometimes I will carry the Dash 2, which is very well worn. I also have Joshua 1 9 engraved in the blade. Did it myself. It looks like trash. Uh, this has been reprofiled by me. It is terrible, but it cuts well. The uh, this one is still basically brand new. Got it for Christmas of last of 2018. Uh, it's starting to wear right here. The pocket clip is the uh, bug out clip. The one that comes on the bug out anyways. It is. It does need to be reprofiled, but I'm just going to wait for it to get dull before I do that. So, on to the belt pouches. I carry two belt pouches on me. One I didn't bother taking off. It's just a generic Leatherman one. And then the other one is my Skinth Medium. And this thing is packed to the gills. So in this, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff. I can't remember if I uploaded a video about my toolkit, but it has changed. So another pen. This is my backup pen, one of my backups. It's a Fisher Space Bullet. I have a Tecton 4-inch adjustable wrench. I tell you, any, whoever watches this, go out, buy one of these doesn't necessarily have to be the Tecton, but I recommend it. They're really good quality, a lot better than the $4 Crescent ones. But they they can save your butt. Because, a little short story about this. Actually, no, I'll save that for a later date. For one for a series I plan on starting soon. Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit. I am currently covering up my initials. Although it doesn't really matter. I don't care. But I will. So it's the Spirit model. Not sure what exact model it is. I got it used. I don't really care. It just works. Not a fan of the Leatherman Wave. Actually, I downright hate the thing. Which is why I carry the Spirit instead. I have a Ramrod. This is for my... Uh, I have a single shot 12 gauge shotgun. And I have some adapters for it. Which allow me to fire other types of ammunition. This is for to help pop out, pop the casings out of the adapters. I have a pair of tweezers. These are full size tweezers because I hate little dinky ones. And then the last thing, which is tends tends to be a hard little bit of a pain to get out, which is actually why it's good to have the tweezers because I can just quickly force it to come out. Is a ferro rod because why not? It fits, it doesn't weigh much, so why not? And that all goes in this skinth pouch. I like these skinth pouches because they have the metal clip, so it's easy to just pull off, throw up my glove box if I'm going in somewhere that doesn't allow this kind of stuff. I like the skinth pouches because they carry they carry pretty low. I like them I don't like them to ride high. I like them to kind of hang low. So that way they don't get in the way of my movement. I went the, with the blue and the brass. And I do actually have to get another one of these for what's next. The next thing is I coined it the Super Driver. It is the Leatherman Bit Kit with the adapt the extendish ex, extension. If I can speak English today, that'd be fantastic. So I took the extension, epoxy it in between the um, bit drivers, and then I you I this is the prototype. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I do plan on making another one and improving on it, but I was just seeing if the concept would work. So it is those, and then in between it are the little tiny binder clips just to act as spacers, and because I was lazy and was rushing, I literally epoxied in a hex key. Don't ask me why, but I did. But yeah, I really like this. It works great. You just pull out the bit you need, slap it in, 
do what you need to do. Pull it out, goes right back into the handle, and you can throw it in the sheath. And yeah, that's my everyday carry that goes on body. Now, the extension of that is what's in my coat. I wear a Carhartt, I don't remember the model name, but it's their uh, light duty puffer jacket kind of deal. So in that, I carry headphones, three pairs, three pairs of headphones. The reason why is I don't spend a lot of money on my headphones. I'd rather buy three cheap pairs because they'll last well long enough. These are um, just Kobe headphones. They're all the same color, same exact same ones. But I carry three pairs just spread about because one, I will most likely forget them. Two, if they break, I can just throw them away and pull out the extra pair mid-shift. Just wait for my break, switch them out, and I'm good to go. And then switching to the inside. That shouldn't be in there. This is an empty, a pen that needs a new uh, refill, which I'm going to take out of the pen that I had in my pocket earlier. I forgot to do that. I have my Thrunite T3i, I believe it's called. TI3. Um, it's decent light. Yeah, you can't see me now. But it's no longer my main light, just because I like the old light much more. But it's good to have a backup. I just throw up my coat as an extra. And since I am have the weekend off, I brought my hand lotion home. Uh, I have really badly calloused hands, and it can be painful at times. So I have this, which is my favorite hand lotion. Probably not the best for me, but it works. It's the uh, O'Keefe's Working Hands. I have, like containers of that everywhere but that's the one I carry to and from work I don't want to leave it at work though in the front zipper pocket I have I just gotta make sure I don't show you my work badge which is also in there so I do have my badge for work on a uh, Bass Pro Shop little extendy thingy um, if my phone dies oh speaking of the phone I'm filming on it it is a uh, Samsung Luna J3, I believe it's called. And um, for music, I have my old iPod Classic. I think the battery might be... Oh, no, the battery is still pretty good. Um, you can see I listen to a variety. I got Godsmack. Come on, work for me. It's just being dumb right now. But anyways, this thing is older than the hills, so it's a little temperamental at times. Yeah, oh well. So, iPod Classic, it's the 160 gigabyte. This is like a backup if my phone starts to get a little low, because mostly I'm just listening to YouTube. I, have, I pay for YouTube Red, or Premium, as it's called now. But this is a backup. Or if I want to listen to something in my truck. And uh, random junk. It's not EDC. It's just junk. I believe that is it for my coat. Yep, just more headphones. So yeah, that's my EDC for both weekend and at work. My uh, workplace is casual. So what I'm wearing right now, I can wear to work. Mind you, I'd probably wear darker pants, but same brand, Arizona Jean Company from JCPenney. Favorite jeans, they la they're just great quality. I like the fit. But yeah, that's my everyday carry. It's been that way for... The screwdriver's new, and that's about a week, but everything else I've been carrying, like, nonstop since my last probably a year. Which is kind of crazy if you think about it. I have changed very little things. The only thing that's been kind of in flux is what's been in the pouch. I've been adding to it just by need. Typically the thing that always seems to leave is the ferro rod. But it always comes back. So I've just kind of stopped. And the flashlight. Um, I'm not a super big fan of this uh, Olight. Mainly because of the batteries it uses which are the CR123s or the 18650s because they're expensive. 
but I'm either just gonna spend the $80 to get the rechargeable or spend 20 some odd dollars for a rechargeable battery. But I'm probably gonna buy the uh, rechargeable version because the button on my, my light, uh, the rubber has actually cracked and torn from use because I use this legitimately every day when I go up to my, go up to my house because dark hallways, always fun. And so the button's kind of worn thin and eventually cracked. So the button does jam. So sometimes it doesn't respond when I turn it on. But yeah, other than that, it's been largely unchanged. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see y'all soon. I do plan on actually making a bunch of videos after this one and uploading them to in quick succession. Just that way there's more content on my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.